This tutorial will cover how to access customer groups and add customers for Apprenticeship Illinois. Once you are logged into Illinois WorkNet, go to the brown ribbon and click the drop down arrow. Go to Customer Support Center from the Partner Tools side. Once on the Groups page, you'll look for the group that you want to use, which is Apprenticeship Illinois. Click on the group. It will take you to a dashboard type page where you will see uh, different items, customers, partners, capacity building activities. Enter the name of the customer that you're looking for here, or if you want to add a customer, you can add a customer here. If you are importing a group of customers that are not case managed, you would import them here. We'll cover that in another video. To add a customer, you click the button and you add this information. Once you have the information entered, you want to make sure that you confirm your email and they are correct and that you confirm the social security number and they are correct. Then click on search for existing customer. It will fetch to see if there are any existing customers based on the information that you entered. If there are not, it will create a new account for you. You have the ability to send a link for the initial assessment to the customer, or you can complete the initial assessment with the customer, or you can add the next customer. We're going to complete the initial assessment with the customer. If you selected to add another customer right away, once you are on the customer profile, you can go to the intake review tab, click on the number one customer submits initial online assessment. You can send the customer a link to the initial assessment, or you can complete the initial assessment with the customer. We're going to complete the initial assessment with the customer right now. They will agree to the terms of the application and start the new application. You will want them to be with you as you're completing this information and fill in all of the boxes. Have them give you some answers to some of the situational items. You can click all that apply to the customer and then select some career choices for that customer. What type of work would they be interested in doing? There are several choices. You can select more than one for which would apply. Any other types of work that they might be interested? And then which best describes their situation? Would they need help? Do they need to update skills? Do they just need some help getting a job because they already have the training? Save and go to next page. Here's information on languages and credentials that they might have. What's their highest level of education? Do they have any credentials? If they do, you would click add credential here fill in the information. This includes high school diplomas or any kind of CNA or AWS, any other kind of credentials that they might have. It also asks if the customer has any work experience in the field that they were trained. Since this is a high school diploma, I'm going to leave that as no. Save, and then the credential is added to the list. Save and go to next page. What is their current employment status? Have they not worked before? Are they employed? Have they been given a notice of termination? Are they actively looking for work but unemployed? Are they unemployed and not actively looking for work? We're gonna pick that one. Then it will ask you to add their employment history. Click the button, add the information. Once you have all of the information filled out, then you will want to click the Save button. It will add it. You want to add all of the 
employment opportunities that they have had. There are a number of questions here that you can answer with the help of the participant. Once the questions are answered, click Save and go to next page. What are their immediate employment goals? Do they want to go to training and then find a job once they complete the training? Are they not sure? Do they want to work full-time or part-time? Save and go to next page. This is information about them, so you will want to make sure that you have them fill out the information or have you type it correctly. Once you have all of the information entered, double check that the confirmation lines match the top line. Make sure that if it was a male customer and they were born after January 1, 1960, that they are either registered with the Selective Service or not. And if they are, please make sure that you enter their number. Then save and go to next page. Then we have some emergency contact information that we'll want to fill out. Once you have the information filled in, go and click the save and go to next page. Other considerations that the customer may need include some drug information, offender information, transportation, cost of transportation, what can they lift, how long can they stand, are they able to sit, which tests can they pass, how's their eyesight, uh, what is their appearance like, can they taste and smell certain things, do they have motor vehicle restrictions, can they get a driver's license? And how did they hear about Illinois WorkNet and the program? Once they have answered all of those questions, you want to submit the application. It takes you back to the customer intake review page where you can then begin the eligibility review.